Welcome to this course in which we are going to learn about how to create a lesson plan using mobile learning and asking your student to bring their own device for working on it. My name is Javier Ramos, I'm an English teacher at primary school. I'm also the author of this course and I will be here to help you along it. At the schools we now face a time when one of the main ethics issues is making use of the current technology, bearing in mind maintenance issues and keeping the technology and devices up to date. One of the solutions may be to work with devices owned by the students or follow a BYOD policy, which stands for Bring Your Own Device. Bring the round device means that students will bring and use the round devices into the school for educational reasons and purposes. It will mean the teacher and the school should create a BYOD policy to clarify all the situations and also a great syllabus in order to use them properly during lessons. The benefits of bring the round device are multiple. If it is a student's device, they take better care of it. As it is theirs, the students carry all the digital material they are creating everywhere. Students will master their own device better than any other. As they are mobile devices, we can use them away from the ICT classroom and you don't need the device to be connected to the internet to be used in the classroom. However, there are disadvantages of bringing a student's device to the school. It may imply an additional cost to families, distractions during lessons, greater responsibility for the students or the need for a good electrical grid and internet connection. Mobile devices are becoming essential to students' daily lives as say breakfast, but we need to introduce them in our teaching and learning processes at the school. Mobile learning is a great option for including them in our lesson. It involves more than merely incorporating new technology into current pedagogical strategies. It requires an instructional paradigm shift that promises to fundamentally change the way students learn. Some tips for starting mobile learning are ask yourselves what you are going to achieve and explain it clearly to the students. Survey your students about what devices they own. Encourage the students for suggestions, especially about new apps. There are lots of possible uses of mobile devices in your lesson. Here are some ideas to inspire you with your lesson plan. Create and carry out surveys for different projects, record podcasts and videos, work with social networks during lessons, your codes on augmented reality, virtual reality for educational purposes. By accomplishing the activities within this course, you will be working on the digital content creation area of the common digital framework for teachers. It will help you achieve level C1 and C2 of Competence 3.1, Developing Digital Content. We hope that with all this information and the tasks and activities we have designed for you, you are ready to introduce mobile learning into your lessons. Do not hesitate to ask your questions and share your ideas through the social networks using the hashtag in Twitter and in the Facebook group. I will be very happy to meet you there and learn with all of you.